Are you a developer looking to get into AI as a freelance developer? Today's video explores the truth about freelance AI development. We'll discuss this domain's highs, lows, and the crucial steps to success. If you're ready to start on this journey and learn from someone who's helped people get to six and seven figures in their developer freelance careers, subscribe and switch on the notifications and keep watching the video. This guide is for both experienced developers and AI enthusiasts who want to freelance, but who are of course also still developers. This video's lessons are based on my experience helping developers sell their services for $5,000 to $20,000 and above. I want to show you what's ahead with minimal bias. So here's some of the stuff that's been going on over the last year and a half. AI and machine learning jobs have seen an explosive rise, ranking among the top emerging roles in the tech sector over the past few years. So lots of developers are quitting their jobs and offering their services online instead of driving to an employer's office and doing a normal job. Even though there's more jobs available, more and more developers are deciding to freelance and at the very least work from home. So the easiest place to start, if you're looking to do something like this, is on platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. So why should you look at AI as a developer at all? Like why not just stick to mobile app development or whatever else you're into right now? It's the current hot stuff. It's currently what's trending. A few years ago, it was the whole crypto thing and it was again the crypto thing up to last year and now it's AI, but AI is here to stay. So AI solutions are currently in the process of maturing. So on the one hand, we have business startups and established corporations hungry for AI solutions to gain a competitive edge. On the other hand, we have a pool of talented AI developers and wannabe developers eager to work on projects, seeking the freedom that freelancing offers. Freelancing in AI is about diversifying your experience, learning and pushing the limits of AI, not just working from a beach in Bali while sipping on a cocktail. Businesses recognize the value of a well-implemented AI solutions and are willing to invest in top talent to achieve their vision, making freelance AI projects potentially lucrative for you, if you can learn the skills. In short, the combination of AI's growth and the freelancing wave gives the perfect opportunity for AI engineers to be at the forefront of innovation and to get really cool projects by working online. Plus, once you're doing well enough as a freelancer, you can hire people and build a business out of the whole thing that you've been doing as a freelancer. Freelancing in any domain is not a walk in the park. And when you couple it with a field as complex and rapidly evolving as AI, difficulties multiply. First and foremost, the AI domain is fiercely competitive with universities and online platforms churning out AI graduates and enthusiasts at an unprecedented rate. The market will eventually be saturated with talent. Right now though, it's a barren wasteland in terms of talent. If you talk to a bunch of freelancers, almost none of them have any clue what they're talking about. They just like watched an online course and they're like, okay, I'm a developer now. Eventually though, standing out will require not only expertise in AI, but also a unique value proposition, a specialization in a specific AI subfield or a track record of successful projects. A lot of people want to get into freelancing because it's seen as a life of leisure with flexible hours and freedom to work anywhere you want, but it requires discipline, consistency, and long hours when you start, and also for a long time afterwards. Setting realistic expectations with clients and picking the right clients in the first place is absolutely crucial. As a freelance AI developer, you're also a business owner, which means handling client communication, marketing your service, managing money, finances, and sometimes even dealing with difficult clients or payment disputes. Everyone loves a good payment dispute. Finally, the unpredictability of freelancing can be scary. Some months may be full of high paying tasks and jobs and projects, while others may be lean and you may, might have this feast and famine thing going on for a while as a freelancer. If you don't have a proper funnel that's reliable and delivers high paying clients weekly, you're screwed. It's definitely worth going down the AI route for the majority of developers who can learn the relevant skills fast enough. Some developers can just learn stuff in weeks that usually takes months for other people. Freelance AI developers set their own schedules. You can work when you're most productive, whether you're an early bird or a night owl. I work best after 3 p.m., for example. You can work from home, a cafe, or a co-working space in a different city each month if that is what you really want. One huge benefit is you can do all kinds of interesting projects. You might build a neural network for a finance firm one month and a machine learning model for a healthcare startup the next. Diversity 
keeps work interesting and expands your skills and portfolio. Also, skilled AI freelancers can charge hefty fees due to demand. Demand is huge right now. Every company wants to be involved in AI, even non-tech companies. Unless you're the worst negotiator in the world, you're likely to get paid more for a freelance contract than a job on an hourly basis. Freelancers also grow faster. Clients, projects, and learning are your responsibility. Though scary, this encourages growth for you as a person. You become proactive, resourceful, and resilient. Qualities that benefit you personally and professionally, basically for your entire life. Freelancers create personal brands that can last a lifetime if you wish so. This can lead to recommendations, higher paying projects, and speak engagements or workshops that you can do. Here are some steps to get you started. One, build a strong portfolio before you can convince potential clients of your expertise. You need to showcase your best projects, detailing the problem, your solution, and the results. If you're just starting out and don't have client projects to show potential clients, consider personal projects or contributions to open source AI initiatives. Specificity trumps everything. Build stuff specifically targeting the types of people you'd want to sell to. Number two is to start profiles on Upwork and Fiverr and just watch some of my other videos on how to get started on those. Number three, set clear rates and terms. Freelancers struggle to set rates. Research the market, factor in your experience, make sure you're making at least 70% profit margin, shh, and set a rate that reflects your value. Be transparent with clients about your rates and make sure all the terms, including payment schedules and deliverables, are clear before they sign the contract. You need to learn sales. Start by practicing talking to leads from Upwork and Fiverr. You can just say no to most projects if you feel uncomfortable at any point. I'll leave you with this for now. Click on the video links in the description to learn specifics about lead generation and sales so you can get started today.